Good day. This is Roger signing in for the BFN, the Business Financial Network. And as we continue to keep you informed on unexplored brand new asset classes and emerging issuers, it's my pleasure today to introduce the CEO of Freelancer.com, Matt Berry. How are you doing? Thanks for having me, Roger. Pleasure having you. Um, by the way, for the audience, the symbols are F L N. CF on the OTC in the US and on the Australian Stock Exchange, FLN. And we're tuning in today from Toronto. It's uh, 6 p.m. here in the fall. And uh, our, our buddy here, Matt, is in, um, what city are you in Australia? Sydney, Australia. Behind, behind me actually is the Opera House and the, uh, the Harbour Bridge. <laughs> beautiful gorgeous gorgeous yeah that's what, so thanks all for taking the time this morning what time is it there uh it's about nine o'clock in the morning <laughs> just getting going wonderful wonderful well the market's closed today it was a really interesting day in the markets you know on know your ceo which is our special segment we always tremendously focus on the people behind the project not just the projects so tell us a bit about yourself my name, is, my name is Matt Barry. I'm the Chief Executive of Freelancer Limited. I've been running this business for, for 13 years. I'm an engineer by background. I went to Stanford University in 97, 98, doing my Master's of Electrical Engineering and worked in, in the Valley for a period of time. And now I'm back in Sydney and I run a, a global business being freelancer. Wonderful, wonderful. And if you were to describe your business in one sentence, what would you say? How would you describe it? Well, with the Amazon services. So we actually have three businesses under, under the group. The first is freelancer.com, which is the world's largest crowdsourcing website with over 60 million uh, freelancers getting any job done you could possibly think of. We have a payments business called escrow.com, which does over a billion a year US in, in payments wow. and powers things like uh, eBay Motors in the US if you want to buy a car, uh, eBay watches and so forth. So it's a payment system for expensive and complicated items. And we have a freight business, uh, so load shift, which today will do more freight, like this day, will do more freight than the distance from the earth to the moon. So we do about 400,000 kilometers wow. a day. So we're in the, the fields of labor, payments, and freight, all services that all businesses need around the world. Wow, incredible, man. That's awesome. How did this, uh, you know, how did this business become an idea? Well, I bought a bunch of businesses. I bought 27 businesses and, and merged them all together over 13 years. Uh, but the very genesis of it was literally I was... Uh, my last company was a fabulous semiconductor company that ultimately sold to Intel. And after I left that business, so I was looking for something to do. And I thought I would actually help my mum build a website. Now, she has a wholesale business importing arts and crafts and textiles and painting. No and way. Clothes. And I said to her in 1995, I said, you should build a website. And if she did that, she would have been the Bezos of, of the space. Wow. Wow. Fast forward to 2007, 2008. And I, I thought, okay, I'll build her a website. And then I had to do a lot of data entry. And you know, I fill in a spreadsheet of names of shops and addresses and phone numbers and so on. And I thought mm -hmm. this is a job that a little brother or sister of a friend of mine would love to do. And I'll pay them $2 per row and a thousand rows in the spreadsheet. Wow. And I couldn't find anyone. It took me months to find someone. It's not a traditional job that you could put a, a job vacancy out for. And no. in frustration, I went to the internet and I, I found a, a Swedish website actually by the name of, of Get a Freelancer. And I, I posted the job and I went to lunch and I forgot about it. And I came back about three hours later and I had 74 people doing it. Say, I said, I'll do it. And my budget was 2000 and said, I'll do it for 1,500, 400, 300, 200, $100. And I thought, oh my God, there are people here that want to do the job for a hundred dollars, which is 5% of what I was prepared to pay. It was done in three days. It was perfect. And I thought, oh my God, this changes everything. And today we've got 60 million freelancers, 62 million freelancers that can get any job you can possibly think of done. Everything from web design, graphic design, copywriting, data entry, you know, astrophysics, wow. aerospace engineering, genetic engineering, biotechnology. Uh, we, we work with small businesses or consumers all the way up to large organizations like Deloitte, NASA, you know, Unilever and, and so forth. Wow. We've, you know, an example of the high end work we've, we've done, we just won a 6.7 million US dollar task order with NASA and the National, National Institute of Health to develop new ways to do gene, uh, gene therapy uh, you know, in, in humans. And, and so wow. you know, it ranges from the simplest thing you can possibly think of to the most complex thing you can think of. Unreal. That is, and so how does the company generate re revenues? Well, you simply make a commission off of the projects that get done. So uh, for, for, for clients, it's free to post a project, uh, talk to people, see their work, ask for samples and so forth, browse the portfolio. If you award a job, 
to a freelancer and it's free to sign up a bid on jobs. Uh, we yep. charge 10% to the freelancer and 3% to the client. Wonderful, man. That's a great model. And you guys are it's doing it. volume. You guys are doing crazy volume. You know, yeah, like, so it, go. Overall in the group, we, we, we do about a, a 1.3 billion a year uh, in volume uh, across all the businesses. That's crazy top line. Hmm. That is a really, yeah, during COVID, more than, you know, 45% of U.S. businesses alone, just in the U.S., increase their investments in freelance ta talent. So I'm sure since, you know, the lockdowns and all that fun stuff, you guys have experienced a tremendous amount of growth. I mean, this is a business that thrives in times of uncertainty and, and, and uh, you know, poor macroeconomic conditions. I mean, people say you want to be a unicorn. I say you want to be a cockroach, right? You want to be able to survive nuclear winters, right? You know, in-, in you. In, in the global financial crisis, as well as in COVID, we see, we see three things happening that really is a boom for, for freelance.com. The first is obviously a lot of people looking for jobs online. We're seeing that right now, in fact. Uh, it, since, since June, the number of US um, uh, users signing up has increased from 33,000 a month to 45,000 a month because people are going online looking for jobs. At the same Agreed. time, we see a lot of businesses going to freelancers to get things done inexpensively. Um, NASA published a, a, a white paper on uh, their experience hiring about 7,000 freelancers at the time. They've done about 15,000 now that have been used in various projects for NASA. But um, they showed that you could save between 80 and 99% compared to traditional methods of hiring people. 99. Not many businesses can do that level of, of sort of cost savings, right? So you see a lot of businesses going on, online, going to freelancers to get jobs done inexpensively yeah. and costs. And the third big trend you see is you see a lot of startup businesses starting to bridge people through bad times. So in the lockdowns in COVID, you know, your cafes were setting up drop shipping businesses selling products off Alibaba and Amazon. You know, uh, in the global financial crisis, you saw a lot of people in between jobs going, you know what, I'll help my wife with her business and I'll, I'll get a website going or I'll build an yeah. app or I'll do what have you. So yeah. that, you know, the three broad trends. And I think, you know, obviously we've seen all the third quarter numbers from you know, Amazon yeah. and Meta and so forth. It's, it's pretty ugly out there. And I think is. 2023 is going to be a pretty ugly year. And that's a fantastic time for freelancer because that's where people are looking to cut costs, hire online uh, exactly. and find jobs online. Unbelievable. And with that, with you, th that being said, what do you forecast in terms of revenue for this year? Uh, we, we, we don't deliver forecasts, but we think it will be a pretty bumper year. We actually just did a, a, a segment of CNBC last night. You're nice. seeing a lot, you know, app development for Android is up about 80% year on year. Lots, you know, obviously it's the most popular platform out there for getting things done. And, and so people are building businesses around that. A lot of website jobs, you know, a lot of, uh, actually a lot of influencer jobs. A lot of people are, you know, like yourself. Yes. You know, need yes. Help editing channels, you know, helping with script writing, proofreading and so on. So we think exactly. the next couple months are going to be pretty, pretty bumper. And I, I think it's, you know, Tough times. This is a business you want to be in. It's a it's a fantastic business when the times are tough. And what and what do you guys have planned next? Well, uh, God, we're doing so many things. So um, we've got a whole enterprise division now. So we're yeah. helping some of the largest companies in the world get things done for Deloitte. And I just got off a call with them actually a few hours ago. Great. We've built a custom version of Freelancer, which helps Ooh. Deloitte consultants get things done. Uh, we've onboarded nice. thirty nine thousand consultants. Um, you can post a job from Deloitte consultants to Deloitte consultants. So you might be in the London office and the jobs there are all related to the financial industry and you want to work in tech. Well, now you can work with the, with, with the, with the San Francisco office and you can work in, yeah. in the tech industry. You might be in Australia and all the companies are mining and you can go online and you can work with other Deloitte consultants in, in other parts of the world. Or you can post to the cloud and access the world's biggest network of 60 million freelancers. So we've, we've deployed that and that's scaling uh, really well. We're doing something pretty crazy with one of the largest computer and printer companies in the world. I can't mention their name, unfortunately, but in no Indonesia worries. and in India and in Australia and in New Zealand and in okay. Malaysia, wow. if, you break your, if you break your computer and your laptop uh, uh -huh. and you go to their website or call their service center to get it repaired, it's actually a freelancer that goes out and repairs your, your computer and your printer. And it's, yeah, now, yeah. it's now in the process of rolling out to uh, 13 countries and then there's a total of 53 globally in terms of the service network. 
So we've just they've just integrated their systems into our systems. So now it's going to have a big step up in terms of the volume going through. And in India alone, this company does six hundred and sixty thousand laptop repairs. Oof. So per year. So that's pretty exciting. <laughs> um, with NASA, NASA, we've been working wow. with them since twenty fifteen, and okay. we jointly won a twenty five million dollar US contract. Uh, to solve complex problems the astronauts face and, and so forth. Gorgeous. That contract actually now expanded last year to 175 million US dollars. And now NASA acts as a gateway to US government. So through that, we've worked with the Department of Commerce, uh, with NIST, uh, with the CDC, wow. uh, with NASA themselves, with the Bureau of Reclamation. And we've worked in fields, everything from computational fluid dynamics for sedimentation in in streams to the Hydroelectric Power Authority in the US, through wow. to right a million dollar task order anyone can enter, where we're building a minority report style dashboard for first responders uh, in, in, in disasters. So for example, there might be a um, earthquake or a bombing or what have you, and all the first responders come on the scene. At the moment, it's all pen and paper, yeah. uh, but we're building a, a, a minority report style heads up the, you know, display for how the really? first responders can communicate and, and track with data. We're doing, we're doing, uh, we've done stuff in electrical engineering, uh, uh, UX, uh, software engineering, uh, network science, and uh, a big one we've just won that hasn't gone live yet. As I mentioned before, it's $6.7 million US task order for gene editing in uh, ways to efficiently um, uh, edit genes both uh, in the body and as well as uh, in the lab. And that's pretty exciting. That's going with the National Institute of Health. Oh my that's going live God. Matt, where do you find the time? Ladies and gentlemen, I just got to say, there's a lot of businesses that I've interviewed. Matt, this is a very impressive business. I'm very humbled that you spent the time today to explain to our audience what freelancer and more importantly, you have going on. And NASA, you're telling me you went from a $25 million contract to 175. That's a 700%. That's right. That is unreal. That's right. And, and only tw only about twelve or thirteen million dollars has been awarded from the first contract, and the one hundred seventy five million is now going to be awarded from from here on in for the next three years. So there's a there's a lot to come, and that's just one of our businesses. That's the freelancer business with yeah. escrow.com. It's a payment system for buying and selling things that are complicated and expensive. For example, it's like PayPal, but you wouldn't use PayPal to sell your house or your car, right? So we 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 used to buy to buy and sell things like boats, cars, jewelry, gemstones, diamonds. Um, businesses, uh, real estate, shipping containers from China and so on, yeah. uh, domain names, IP addresses, uh, yeah, anything you possibly think of uh, that's complicated or expensive. So typically your million dollar items, $10 million items, $100,000 items, paintings, fine art, sculptures, yeah. um, you know, all that sort of stuff. So we, are, we, we power, we're the only online payment method for eBay Motors US. Uh, we, uh, we power the luxury watches division of eBay. Um, we help shop. Yeah, if you if you buy and sell a Shopify store, we're the only yep. payment method for Shopify Exchange. And uh, give me an example. You know, in the internet, we're very very well known because uh, when Facebook rebranded to Meta.com, they bought the domain name through us. When Snapchat uh, branded themselves Snapchat.com, they bought the domain through us. Instagram, WeChat, uh, SpaceX, Chrome.com, Gmail.com, Binance.com, Crypto.com. Uh, you know, they all bought their domain names through us. Uh, wow. Uh, AWS.com uh, and so on. So we're huge in domain names, huge in uh, buying and selling you know, websites online wow. uh, and so forth. And then the third business is in freight. And, uh, you know, we do all sorts of crazy things. Uh, we just moved the largest boat by land in the Southern Hemisphere ever, which is a paddle steamer. It went through uh, three states, needed a police escort permitting, <laughs> power line to be taken down. And, uh, and, and and the great thing is that the other at the other end it actually managed to float. So uh, it got there. <laughs> got so that was a, a very complicated move. So we move coal, we move um, uh, grain, barley, we move railway carriages, swimming pools. Uh, right now, actually, this week today, we're moving a portable mining camp uh, uh, using using this business. Wow. So we we do a lot of things uh, at Beautiful. Freelancer, and it's, it's quite a diverse range of industries. And we're trying to build the Amazon of services. Listen, you know, I, you know, being going to school for mechanical engineering and hearing a fellow engineer getting to these heights in business, it's really motivating for me, motivating for my audience, and um, more importantly for investors. So looking at the stock, looking at obviously the, the big yeah. business that you're involved in, 
what advice would you give people when looking at your company? What would you say? What would you say? Oh, like, 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 oh the stock is so pretty low right now. I mean, every, I mean, the, the whole market obviously is a bit of turmoil. We saw, saw what yeah. happened with Amazon overnight. We saw what happened with Meta overnight. You know, we're, right. we're like them. You know, everyone's stock is down right now. There's a lot of opportunity in the market. I think if you look, if you look at what we do and the scale of what we do and the diverse range of industries and the, and the, yeah. and the enterprise that you work with, there is huge potential. I mean, some of the largest companies in the world by market capitalization are global marketplaces of products. You know, you got your Amazons, your Alibabas, yeah. and 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 then to a lesser extent, you got your Etsy's and your eBay's and your and, yeah. and even Shopify. In a way, is a is a, is a marketplace of marketplaces of products, right? Yeah. We're doing it for service, right? And in fact, the services right. space is actually larger than the product space, Weaving. right? And so yeah. that's what we're doing. We're out we're out there, and and we're in three broad industries: labor, payments, and freight. And you know, we help businesses from small to large, consumers to NASA. And uh, so, take a look at what we do. And, uh, you know, anytime you can reach out to investor at freelancer.com and do a one-on-one -on -one if you're interested. Wonderful. You know what? To keep on winning, everyone has to keep on watching. I thank you very much, Matt, for taking the time with us today. Um, as I've not, I've never done an interview of a business of this scope that's doing what you're doing. So I'm humbled. I know my audience is humbled. And we are all going to be putting the stock on our watch list and looking forward to hearing more about your company and the future accolades that you guys are going to definitely um, achieve. My dog is actually on my lap right now. <laughs> so he's really excited to hear about your, your, he just jumped up on me while you were talking. <laughs> so um, yeah, but thank you very much for your time. We really do truly appreciate it. Great. Thanks for having me, Roger.